Alrighty, so hello and welcome to this presentation on the I'm Okay series. The three conceptual works that I worked and made throughout the semester in RDE 200. Before I get to the actual work, I'd like to start off with some inspiration and how I might have gotten to this place in my work. And I actually think I'll start with a piece that I made from high school when the beginning of my art career and the first time I touched and kind of fell in love with charcoal. This is a piece from my sophomore year in high school in drawing two. We took Kierskero portraits and we were working in black and white charcoal and I absolutely loved it. And I feel like this is where I really started to get into that interesting texture of hair and textures in general, but trying to translate certain surfaces onto the page. And while drawing this image, drawing the highlights and the hair specifically on what would be on our left hand side, looking at the image, now moving on to 2020, not too long ago, being in a drawing two class for College of DuPage, we were online and it's COVID. You know, everything feels every which way. And so I drew myself uh, in the self-portrait for a project. And when drawing this work, I wasn't thinking of my high school piece at the time, but putting them side by side, you know, at a couple more hands, they're pretty similar. One kind of mimics the other, so maybe it was subconsciously. And then also throughout my 2020, 2021 to present, I was working on another series, actually more sculpture-based, called Tress, Give It Time and It Will Grow. And it was uh, part of a two-part series, uh, an exhibition, Convexed to Tress, with another series I had made. And these were made by making canvas forms and using thread, kind of looking into hair and not hair, exploring how do you translate objects of material that are not of the body to mimic the body. And so I found this to be interesting too, and maybe this influences and contributes to my love of texture as well, and the hair and the form of my drawings. So moving on to the first piece in the I'm OK series, titled Started in My Chest and in My Throat, Graphite and Charcoal, uh, we see that the hands are not my hands, right? They're metaphorical. They take on the personification of emotion and feeling, uh, something that we've all had. I, for one, hated Socratic seminars in high school, and I'd want to say something because it's for a grade, but then having annoying judging people in the class, it was hard to get words out, or even we might feel this in an argument. Um, where we know we have to say something, but we might bite our tongue to save ourselves from adding fuel to the fire. But that feeling, you know, you want to say something or you know you have to say something. It might be your truths, but you don't say it and you end up keeping it in instead. And that is really where it starts in your chest and ends up in your throat as you swallow to keep those words in and it feels like there's a rock or a lump and you might get anxious. Now the second image, Must Not Look Away, is a little bit more tame compared to the other two. And again, the hands are not my hands, but they're holding me in place. And it's all internal. And this drawing is trying to find that feeling or express that feeling of seeing something tragic, catastrophic, or we see the disaster in it all, but yet we can't take our eyes off of it. We know we should look away, right? But we don't instead um, and maybe it's because we're looking to find the truth in it all you know where is the humanity what, how can I help you know this is disgusting but it's so fascinating at the same time you know that thing intrigues us but we know inside that we should not be taking in the danger but we do this title is a lyric and it goes I want to look away I want to look away I must not look away Moving on to the final piece, if they ever let me out, I'm going to really let it out. This work changes the rhythm a little bit. As it adds the expression of the individual, we see that the face is open wide, the eyes are shut, the nose is scrunched, and again, uh, these hands are not mine. It's the personification of what the power of emotion could feel like if you let out a good scream or even when something is screaming inside of you. Right? The hands are very expressive. Most of them are reaching away from the body. Maybe the truth or whatever we had to say is finally coming out of our throat as it 
as that hand uh, kind of creeps out of the mouth, right? The one that might have been underneath the skin from the first image of the series. I'd probably say that this one is my favorite. Uh, I like to work on dark paper and use that contrast to build up the value. It feels more dramatic that way. And when looking at these three together, I didn't want to have each piece be so unified, right, on a single sheet of paper or a single type of paper. So in order to create that buildup or intensity, I used different paper and went from light to dark, starting with white, going to gray, ending with black. Uh, and of course, that also translates to medium uh, and how you work with it as well. So then you're using darker medium and then going to more midtones and then going to the light. And also something to mention about all three of these works, uh, all three of the work, all three of the titles, I should say, are from one of my favorite bands, Florence and the Machine. They're all lyrics from Florence and the Machine songs. They all just kind of worked. It wasn't planned. Uh, wasn't intentional. And thinking about it too, all the drawing titles for my work, mostly from 2020 to present day, have been song lyrics. And so the 2020 work uh, was a Wallows lyric, I'm not uncomfortable, but I feel so uncomfortable from the song Uncomfortable. And then the started in my chest and in my throat is Florence the Machine song Swimming off their Lungs album. And then the second one, Must Not Look Away, is from a single light of love from 2020 Florence the Machine and the third image if they ever let me out I'm gonna really let it out is from their most recent album Dance Fever Girls Against God and I would like to continue this series in a way uh, almost more in paintings or in ink however I feel that this triptych is very complete uh, and if I do continue this series Anything else would be more made, more surreal, like the 2020 drawing, where I could play more with the shape of face and contorting the face and more hands or what have you. And I also have a bunch of reference photos from those as well. So things that I'd like to still carry out. And as this talk comes to a close, I'd like to say I really enjoyed my time in class and I hope to see and continue all of you guys and your work as well as we continue throughout the semesters in the coming years. Uh, thank you for listening.